Good morning, Mustang family. Welcome back to another beautiful school day here at Horeb Christian School. At this time, boys and girls, please join me for the pledges. The pledge to the American flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands. One nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Please face the Christian flag. I pledge allegiance to the Christian flag and to the savior for whose kingdom it stands. One savior crucified, risen and coming again with life and liberty to all who believe. The pledge to the Bible. I pledge allegiance to the Bible, God's holy word. I will make it a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I will hide its words in my heart that I may not sin against God. Please be seated. Celebrating a birthday today, we have Sophie Mitchell. Actually, Sophie Mitchell has moved away. She's no longer with us. We wish Sophie the best in Naples, in the Naples area. And we have Edelvis Acero. Happy birthday, Edelvis. And Valentina Calcinas. Happy birthday, boys and girls. All right. All right, boys and girls, we will reiterate. Uh, this message goes out to our middle school and high school students. We're asking, boys and girls, that you convey the following message to your parents. Uh, please, please ask your parents to make the best effort possible to arrive after 3.20 during dismissal time. Uh, our dismissal is getting quicker each day. Uh, you guys are doing a great job. I want to give a shout out to our dismissal team, Coach Mazzone, Mrs. Lira, Mrs. Vivas, uh, all those teachers that have helped us out in the cafeteria. We thank you so much, elementary team. Uh, Mr. Fernandez, great job, as always. Uh, and our security team, uh, led by uh, Jose and, and Eman. You guys are doing a great job at dismissal. Uh, we do have a lot more students on campus, so it was expected that our dismissal will be a little more lengthy than in previous years. But we will continue to cut down that dismissal time uh, with middle school and, and high school parents arriving after 320. I had the opportunity to speak to a lot of our high school and middle school parents in the car line yesterday. Boys and girls, remind your parents uh, our new policy will be. In the, in the event that you have a sibling in elementary, your parents are more than welcome to pick up both of you or, or all of you after 320. We will not start charging for aftercare until 350. So there's no need to worry. We, we, will, not, we will not charge your sibling for aftercare. So please, please, parents, make sure you arrive after 320 if you have a child in six through 12th grade. Uh, I promise you it will be much better for you as well. You will not wait in the car line uh, for the length of time you've been waiting in the car line for, and it will uh, prevent any blockage in the car line. So thank you so much for your cooperation with that. Uh, also, boys and girls, this week we know it is a difficult week, especially for those parents that have uh, young ones in preschool and elementary. However, we will begin enforcing the car line in the morning. We are asking that parents do not get out of their car to drop their child off in the front of the school. The only reason a parent should park in the morning is to make a payment in the office or they have a parent-teacher conference. That is it. So we will begin enforcing that immediately. This is absolutely essential. So boys and girls, please remind your mom and dad. In the morning, they should make the car line. This is absolutely uh, crucial uh, for their safety, uh, we we really don't want people walking through the parking lot. It is a it is a safety hazard. So we thank you, boys and girls. We we rely on you to convey this message to your parents tonight. Very important. Also, this is a reminder that tomorrow is the deadline for some documents here at our school. The statement of cooperation for our handbook that is to be signed by all families, all all parent guardians. So, boys and girls, tomorrow is the deadline. Teachers. We're going to ask that you hold on to those documents. Those should be filed away in your homeroom, in every student in your homeroom. It should be filed away in their file. We're going to ask that you 
hold on to those documents for now. Um, also, the communicable diseases policy. We're asking. We're going to ask that that is filed away. Teachers, tomorrow we're going to ask that you notify. You can send an email to me. You can notify me with any students that have not turned that into you. So please cross-reference with your homeroom roster. Anyone that has not submitted those documents, let us know. We will be reaching out to those families. And then the third document is strictly for our sixth through 12th grade students. That is the demerit notice. That's the demerit system notice. That, ne that needs to be signed. It, that is the first sheet of that packet. The, the rest of the packet can be kept at home for reference. That details uh, our demerit system, what, uh, what infractions uh, correlate to which actions, which, um, I'm sorry, which demerit, which quantity of demerits correlate to the infraction. So that is very important that those three documents the, uh, are signed. Uh, we thank you guys for your cooperation, boys and girls. Make sure you remind mom and dad, if you haven't brought in those documents signed, that they are brought in tomorrow. Tomorrow is the deadline. Tomorrow is the deadline. It is very important. Also, we have a message for our FIU dual enrollment students. Today, during eighth period, you will report to the cafeteria. Uh, our professor, Professor Montenegro, that will be teaching the public speaking class, he will be on campus next week. FIU just kicked off their fall term. But Professor Montenegro, you will officially start with him next week. So we're asking that you report to the cafeteria. We, so, we have some important information to go over with you uh, in the cafeteria today during eighth period. All right, boys and girls, I pray you have an amazing day. God bless you guys. We had some awesome chapels yesterday. I know we're going to have an amazing chapel service tomorrow with our preschool department with kindergarten. All right, guys, let's have an awesome Thursday. It's been an amazing week thus far. Kudos to everyone. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for this day, Lord. Lord, I thank you for everything that you're doing at Horeb Christian School, Father. Lord, I ask that you be with our teachers today, our support staff, uh, with our students, Father. Speak to us all, Lord. Uh, give us the strength and fortitude, Father, to push forward always, Father. May we take it day by day, Lord. May we push uh, to, may we push our levels higher, Father, each and every day in the, in the realms of academics, Father, spirituality, our, our, our relationships that we're forming uh, within this Mustang family, Lord. Lord, we thank you, Lord. We give you all the praise and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you guys. Have a great day.